People on Unismore and on the Isle of Anglesey have always travelled off the island for church community. We felt we really wanted to take something of the DNA of the church that we loved and bring it to an area where there wasn't that expression of church. 60% of families on the island will speak Welsh in the home. We want to provide that space where both cultures, both languages can worship together, can be in community together, can honour one another. We had a baptism gathering where we baptised in the sea. Then we actually had to plan another baptism gathering just four weeks later because another three people wanted to get baptised. That's eight people this summer. And from all different backgrounds, some older people, there was a teenager, English, Welsh, we run a community fun day each year, completely free on a football field in the middle of an estate that um, has quite a lot of deprivation in it. I think very much at our heart is serving the families here and reaching the families here with the gospel of Jesus and really wanting to bring a thriving family expression of church in an area that didn't have one. I just feel like God's really put a, a real calling on my life to be a bridge in this community. We live on a 12 acre small holding. We've been here for nearly six years now. And I think we've very much been through that like church planting phase from us just sitting around our kitchen table, just four of us, to having to hire somewhere for the first time. But now we're very much in this kind of establishment of church phase. It's exciting, but it's also like a slow progress that just builds over time. And I wouldn't have thought we'd be in this position five years ago because we didn't know what we were doing, but we just went for it and we've just pursued the nudges of God. And all we really needed to hear was actually just some confirmation that um, this is something that we could do and that was possible. 